What's going on guys, it's Adonis, and today I'm gonna be giving you my review of probably the best budget slider you can get on the market today, which is the Hercules by Rolocam. So let's get into it. So Rolocam is this company that created a Kickstarter project a while back uh, for a portable slider um, that would be able to do DSLRs, smartphones, um, and it has the ability to ride on a track, and it's extremely portable. Uh, and this is the Hercules, this is their product that they released from their Kickstarter. And I was actually a backer uh, on their Kickstarter campaign. Now, this little guy is pretty impressive, um, especially with what it can do. So today I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts and review on what I used the Rolocam for. Uh, since I didn't do any time lapse, I just shot video. So I'm gonna show you what I did and how I utilized it. So in the kit that I got, it came with a slew of accessories from different mounting brackets, uh, different wheel sizes, um, obviously the track and magnetic sensors, uh, which actually allow the Rolocam to you know, stop and start, whether it be for uh, panning back and forth, whether it be for time-lapse uh, photography, really cool, and I'll get into that in a second, but it came with a ton of stuff. Now it came with this really awesome track as well that the Rolocam can roll on, and the neat thing about it is it has three different mounting places, so if you wanna mount it on two tripods or one in the center, you can, and it comes with feet. However, the feet, uh, the rubber parts of them, one of them fell off when I was out and I just could not find it anymore. Um, but it's actually a really nice track that you can get with the Rolocam. So the wheels that I got for the Rolocam were the adjustable ones. And there's these little uh, Allen wrench uh, screws that you can unscrew to tighten and loosen and you can change the angle um, of the direction or you know the curvature uh, at which it will roll. Now, um, for straight track use, um, it was kind of difficult at times to make sure that it was straight. I got uh, a lot of times where it would be on the track and it would start to rub on the track because it wasn't straight. Um, so just to keep that in mind, if you're gonna be doing a lot of straight panning, it might make sense just to get the one that's standard. There is a static one that does not actually adjust. So as far as the wheel options, there are a couple of different options here. Uh, the package that I got came with two different sizes and also two different types of wheels. One that's locked in for the motorized slider option and then the other one for a manual slide if you wanna control the slide yourself. Now the other cool things that I like about these is the entire system is almost modular, um, which is neat because all the wheels just screw right off, which is great. Um, you can just screw them off, you can put them on the other side if you want. Um, and everything just everything is built really well, uh, built extremely well. All the parts feel strong, they don't feel cheap. Um, the materials as far as like the, the screws, the Allen keys, they're all like high quality. You don't feel like you're getting um, cheated uh, because this is a lower cost device. It actually feels extremely robust. And even when you're talking about the Hercules itself, it's extremely durable. Um, they have videos on their on their channel as far as you know them rolling over it with a car. Um, I would believe it. It's just extremely durable. It does suffer from a little of scratching on it though, um, since it kind of rubs sometimes on the screws, and I'll talk about it in a second. Um, so it does scratch fairly easily. But as far as drops and stuff like that, I've dropped it a couple of times by accident. It actually still works really well. Um, I haven't had any issues with it as far as performance goes. So this is the mounting bracket. Uh, now the mounting bracket allows you to mount uh, any type of uh, camera to this. Obviously there's a weight limit. Um, however, as far as the screw that they provide for you, it will screw into uh, different sizes. There's different um, ends of this mounting screw that you actually have uh, to mount uh, different heads um, or the camera itself. So it's fairly useful. It can get annoying at times depending on how you want to mount the camera um, because you have to play a balancing act. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if this bracket is not forward enough for where your camera is at, if your camera, let's say, is um, a DSLR with a really thin lens, you might wanna set it here. But if your lens is fairly large, if you have a large lens like I have, I have a GH4 with a speed booster and a Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8, this bracket needs to be pushed back. The camera has to sit here, the lens will extrude here, so it kind of balances the weight. Um, so you kind of have to get used to that and at some times, depending on how the camera is mounted, depending on where you put it, it may not sit level. Um, so I actually have a flex tilt head that actually allows me to mount it directly to this so I can adjust there. Um, so you kind of have to fiddle with it 
depending on what you're trying to shoot. Um, but it wasn't something that was a deal breaker. Is this something that I do want to bring up to you guys? Now, as far as my gripe, this is the only gripe that I have through the entire system. And it's this mounting device here. Now, right now, <laughs> I'll explain. Right now, these are actually two different pieces, okay? This part here and this part, they're, they actually unscrew from each other. Um, but as you can see, I'm squeezing extremely tight and now my hands are all dented in. It's almost impossible without any type of plier to remove these from each other. Um, so if you don't have tools readily available, if you go on a shoot or something, you wanna go out and shoot and you screw these together to mount something a certain way, forget it. It's like the hardest thing to get off um, of your device. It is super annoying. Um, but uh, if you have a pair of pliers, it works fairly well. So my thing is make sure you have a pair of pliers with you if you're gonna be utilizing this. I just wish that they would have gave you a flathead screw mount just like your tripod has. Um, if you have any like fluid head, it's like a tripod screw. Um, that would have been so much better uh, as far as mounting wise. Uh, just it's more quick to do things. This just gets annoying after a while. I actually used my tripod mount screw uh, for this numerous times because I just didn't want to deal with this. It's so annoying sometimes. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well that if you're going to use it, bring some pliers. So when I first got on the Kickstarter campaign for the Hercules, they actually did not have a magnetic sensor option. That actually came through um, one of the rewards. Once they hit a milestone, they actually said, hey, if you want a magnetic sensor one, we can uh, offer that as well. And I went for it because it'd be really cool if I wanted to shoot, you know, self things or, you know, solo dance videos um, that I didn't have to have somebody there to, you know, roll on a slider for me. Um, or if I just wanted to do it for somebody else, and have two cameras going. I can have one that's going by itself and I can be controlling the other camera. I thought it was a really cool um, option. And I have to tell you, it works extremely well. Now on the Rolo cam, you actually have in the O a plus sign and that is actually where the sensor reads. Now, when I first got it, I was trying to lay the magnets one by one on top of the track. It actually cannot be done that way because it will automatically stick to the Rolo cam. So you have to do, it comes with four magnets and they, one goes under the track, the other goes on top of the track to kind of connect them to the track so they don't get pulled away from the Rolo cam. Um, and you can move them around fairly easily. Um, once I figured that out, it was so awesome to use. The only suggestion that I have would be having a way or finding a way to use the magnetic sensors when it's not on the track. I haven't been able to figure that out yet because if I wanted to use it on a dance floor um, that's already smooth and I wanted to maybe do a curve uh, type of shot and I wanted to go back and forth, I can't really set it on the floor because the magnets will automatically attach to the Rolo cam. So that's my only suggestion for improvement on the magnetic system. Other than that, it works fantastic. Now, as far as adjusting the Rolo cam, everything is done by this little dot here, this little button, um, and that sets different modes. You actually have a pretty um, intense uh, instruction manual. It's very simple. It's just a lot of different steps depending on what mode you want to put it in. But once you figure the mode you shoot in mostly, it's fairly easy to just to click and then double click and then hold down to set the time. And it's really easy to do once you figure out how to use it. Um, so one of those things that I really wish it would have, and obviously this may come in the future since this is Gen 1 only, uh, would be the ability to control it via smartphone as far as like setting, you know, speed and things like that. Obviously that will require some kind of Wi-Fi sensor in here, which would be awesome for future. I know they probably can't just do it software based in this, um, but it's a really cool option that I hope that they get in the future. But as far as right now, it works really well. So I do want to show you guys some footage that I shot with the Rolo cam and the camera that I use is actually the one that I'm shooting with now, which is my GH4 tied to a Metabone speed booster and a Sigma 18-35 f1.8 lens.
So at the time of me filming this, the Rolo cam at the moment is starts at around $125. Um, and that's for the basic wheel set and the Hercules itself. Um, and that's for 125 bucks. Now, if you want the track, the track's about $60 right now in pre-order. It's not available widely yet. So I would jump on it super, super quick. Now, if you want all the extra stuff, the different mounting brackets, the iPhone bracket, all these different things that you can use uh, for mounting devices, that runs around 250 at the moment. And I don't think that includes the track, um, but I would jump on it for sure. If you're thinking about using any type of slider um, that you wanna take around, this is probably the best portable, least expensive slider you're gonna find. And I really, really recommend it. It's super awesome, especially for people that shoot dance videos, since I'm a dancer. Dancers, this would be perfect for, especially if you if it's just you shooting yourself. This is probably the best tool to get active motion while you're dancing instead of just a static shot. Or anybody that wants just motion in their video and they're the only person you know filming themselves. This is a huge, huge buy. I recommend it 100%. So that's gonna do it for my review, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Rolocam Hercules. And if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you gotta do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel, or if you're on mobile, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, so next time, see you later.